Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a massive unboxing. We have all of the parts right here on the table. Um, and we're gonna do one by one unboxing all of these things. I don't wanna have it in the sun because I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. So, good idea by my lady for me not to fry shit early. Here's a better view of all of the stuff. Um, you got the 4060 Ti, three Liam Lee fans, the 140 millimeters, they V2s, 1000 watts power supply, 27 inch monitor, master cooler, 360L, 990 Pro, some thermal paste, a new keyboard, although I got my old keyboard, the Epo Maker TH80. I love these kind of keyboards, Royal Clutch and stuff like that. It's just been a fan of them a long time. I don't need a billion dollar ducky keyboard. I got this and it works. And I still be dogging y'all. I mean, Ryzen 7 7700, <clears throat> not the X. Um, you got an Orsolite. This is a B650. This is the AX Ice version, meaning a white. And if you couldn't tell, it's technically an all white build. I have some RAM sticks. The RAM sticks is gonna be some Trident Z5s. They are DDR5, because you know, you can't have four DDR5s, it isn't supported, uh, compatible. Um, and these are two sticks of 16 for 32 gigabytes. Now, it has a black strip on them, but it'll be fine because I believe some of the stuff on the motherboard or the GPU is gonna have black. So I think the black and white build will go perfect. Um, I don't have a like pure ice build because I'm not that pure ice or fancy yet but it's worth it and um it's gonna be okay now without further ado we're going to unbox this monitor first if you enjoyed the video at any moment please give it a like if you want to come back for the next video when i build it please subscribe turn on notifications so you know when i post and i love to hear feedback please drop a comment in the comment section see what you you know um, has something to say so you know to see what I thought about it or if I missed something in the video and you want to talk about it or whatever drop a comment I also have a surge protector because I want to put this in a wall and have like uh, multiple outlets What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug my PC directly into the wall But plug like the monitor and miscellaneous stuff in here because I don't want the PC in here in case this fails or whatever so using my head Without further ado, thank you so much um, for clicking on this video and let's get into it. Also, before, let's get a thumbnail. Let's do this. So let's make sure everything is stood up. That was perfect. Cool. All right, let's clear this desk, then let's get everything um, situated and ready to go. So, um, here's the 27 inch Spectre monitor. Let's start to unbox this. That would have been cool if I did that in one try, right? You gonna try again? That was where it was at. Normal knife flip. Let's get these off. Chuck it to the side. Now, lift it up. Take all this stuff out. And like, cut all this stuff open. And then let's take this monitor out. And hey, you can see the camera. Ditch this box. Yeah. Nah. Oh my. Uh, now we have the course. I set this to the side. The box. The panel. A screwdriver. It comes with a screwdriver. How rich and fancy. What is this? Like a $130 monitor? 4K or 2K? Yeah, 2K or 1080p. Um, there was a 1080p monitor, 240 FPS, one millisecond, one MS response time. Might be a bracket to mount on the wall. This is a leg. <laughs> Wee! And it's the thin bezels. The thin bezels, bezels mean like how thick or thin the monitor, how thick or thin the monitor is on the side. So I got the thin bezel one, so it looks large. Oh, I'm gonna keep this protective screen on until I build it tomorrow. I'm definitely gonna keep this, so I'm not gonna stab this one. So I'm gonna put the monitor back in and then at least put it back in these two styrofoam things and set it to the side. So here's the monitor. Actually, I'm not gonna do that. Let's just get this monitor built. Let's do a little time lapse because I don't want this unboxing to be too long. Buttons on the side. 
We have HDMI ports and we have the VGA ports. Thank the Lord's heavens above for DP2s, whatever you want to call them. The stuff that I can connect to my graphics card. Now, let's do a little montage of putting this together and put some non copyrighted music over it that might make no sense. So the monitor sits pretty low. Not a bad thing, not a great thing. I'm gonna be sitting really low. So it works out. It works out. But just to ensure that this gets on properly, put it down here, screw it in from the bottom. Monitor is done. Let's get this desk um, cleaned up and let's get the next thing out. Now we have AMD Ryzen 7 7700. I don't want this in the sun too long, so we're just gonna open this quick, see if it's a fan or not, and then go from there. It definitely is a fan. <laughs> let's open the fan first, because I never touched my other fan because I bought an AIO. It's nice to, Jesus, this is chunky. This boy is a trungus, look at that. You got some copper in here, you can mine that. Yeah, I'm not even gonna take it out the packaging. And it comes with thermal paste pre-applied, that's, that's where it's set low key. The fan heart, at least it's nice to know that, um, you know, I could've saved a little bit of money using this AIO instead of buying a new one. But still really cool. Um, have no idea how I just, Took this out. There we go. But it's actually like really freaking cool. So here's the AIO. And here's a CPU. Ryzen 7, 7700. I'm not gonna open this for obvious reasons. Nothing else came in a box. Nothing else came in a box, so time to put everything back. On to the next. This is the V650 or Elite AX Ice motherboard. Obvious reasons, don't want this in the sun too long. So let's open, oh my God, through the film it looks great. Up under here, you got the cables. This is gonna be a Wi-Fi adapter, right? Yeah, this is gonna be a Wi-Fi router if I don't have an ethernet to plug it straight into. Here's another cord up. Just gotta read the rest of the stuff and see what all this stuff is for. Um, yeah, now, make sure you ground yourself. If you don't got nothing ground, put it right on top of the box. ground myself so yeah oh. I want to make sure I'm holding this from the thick pieces the back plate oh my god this case is insanely I mean what this motherboard is insanely freaking beautiful Oh, this sun too bright right now to show y'all how insanely good looking this is. The black, the black ram is gonna match well with this. This is nice. Okay. Holy guacky. Okay, let's put this back in. I'm getting scared. Well, let's get on to the next one. Fans, Lee and Lee. Oh shoot, I gotta cut these sides open. Let's do a little 
test it is. Oof. Two screws, two fans. Oh! They connect! Let's fucking go! I honestly want to open my case right now to see how it's going to look in there. Oh my days. Look at this beauty. That's insane. How can you not love a good... Bro, when it's white, stuff just looks so much better, man. Like, black is sleek and all and nice, but man, good white shows how clean you really are. Like, oof. All right. Don't need to unbox the other ones, but might as well to see how it connects. <laughs> These look insane. Look at this. That look wild. Fan's gonna be, oh, I got them backwards. I got them intake and extake. Well, it doesn't matter. I just wanted to connect them and show y'all what they look like, but these look amazing. Now, let's get to the next one. Now it's time for the 990 Pro. Pops out just like that. Simple card, super easy to take in, take out, put in, put out. This stuff is pretty simple. It's just thermal paste. I don't need to unbox this until tomorrow. And then um, this is Trident Z5 RAM, two sticks of 16 for 32 gigabytes, and it's DDR5. So actually, we can open this just to see how beautiful the RAM sticks look. Oh wow, they actually look good. I'm not a fan of like the thin um, uh, thin RAM sticks, but these connect, not connectors, like these little bins at the top, those are RGB once you plug them in. So since I got two, they gotta go in separate slots instead of one, two, they gotta go one and two. So RAM sticks are a beaut. Most satisfying thing to put into a PC build, to be honest with y'all, because you get to see stuff click. Uh, it's just a good feeling to do overall. Camera's over eating, Sony a6400. Somebody help me out with a better option. Or should I put like some ice bags on it or whatever? Anyway. Now, here's a Royal Clutch keyboard. I have unboxed this already. I looked at this, but I just wanna show y'all. Now listen. So, I really love keyboards with a directional pad. I chose this color for the base. I love the base of it. I'm gonna change all of these out. I got some different color keycaps already from my old Royal Clutch, and it just works out. USB-C port is in the top left, um, so that means you can wire your cable off to the side somewhere instead of dead center having a nasty cable. But sometimes dead center, you can put a hole in the desk and you can pull it straight through to make it super easy, easy simple, and effective. Plus, I'm gonna get rid of the old cable. I'm gonna get some a coiled cable just to make it look good in the setup cord to connect it, a keycap puller and a switch puller, some switches, dude the plastic is crazy, <laughs> it's like a cut, and here we go with the Master Cooler 360L Core White, massive, 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 this thing's a trungus, I learned that word a trungus from my boy Mac, you should go follow him, his uh, 
TikTok, and Instagram, and YouTube will be in the description. Slick Car Township, I believe that's the name, but we can uh, always verify that later when I actually put the links in the description. Also, join my Discord, y'all. It's gonna be super fun. I might do some giveaways for my old stuff, old gear, and um, who knows? Discord link will be in the chat below as well. The disc, the description below as well. Okay, never had this cooler before. Somebody please tell me how to open it. Don't want to rip the box yet until I'm trying to get rid of it. Oh, and the fans are not already installed. It is a lot, holy, I don't want to touch none of this. I'm not opening this, but, and it comes with thermal paste. This cooler is amazing. I'm gonna go get my receipt for the thermal paste and we can take that other thermal paste back. Oh, this cooler's large. Like, I literally wanna go get my case to just hold this stuff in there to see what it looks like, but you'll see that in tomorrow's video. I'm trying to have some restraint. And then, let's see what these fans look like. You know, I got different fan setups in my case, so it's gonna be looking a little weird, but I'm gonna make it work. These fans aren't bad, if I'm gonna be honest. They don't connect, but they do look cool. That's all that matters. So, stick these back in here. I don't wanna open any of this stuff yet until tomorrow. But at least I know how to open it. That's what matters, that's what counts. I just slide y'all over. Second to last, you got the PSU. PSU is power supply, stick this in, slide it across, slide it up, almost stab draw, but it ain't that deep. And then, here we go, this boy massive. Get all this stuff off the desk. Okay, and let's open this. Let's open this. And I believe it opens the same way. <clears throat> I believed wrong. Yeah, I'm a bot. Oh, I'm really a bot. Oh my days, look at how this opens. Oh, I might keep this box. Got some freaking words. Got a phone thing, something to stab. Got another box over here. I believe these are all the cables. Yep, these are definitely all the cables because the box is empty. and the cables are in another bag. People would be annoyed by this, but I'm obsessed. And it comes with its own bracket if you wanna change it out to move the GPU around or don't have it for your case. Here's the bag of cable. Oh, it got some cable manager zip ties, W moments. They're also white, not black. That's small details that matter. Chisai uh, details that matter. And then now, we take this out. Oh, e. Look at the cable. They're all flipping white. W moment. Ah, I told you I was going to cream but, uh, bucks. Hey. <laughs> told you I was going to lose my marbles if I had these connectors in here. These, uh, whatchamacallit, like the, I don't even know the actual name of it. Internet free. Y'all know what I'm talking about. All y'all need to know is I'm actually excited. Now, it also labels everything, how many of what we have, one piece, one piece, four pieces, one piece, GPU, six, point, six plus two pin, so like an eight pin or whatever, the connectors, so. And then a power cable for the um, PSU. Also, this should have been white, minus one point. So it's a 10 out of 10 instead of 11 out of 10. Minus one point for this. Now, let's put this back in the bag, and let's see what the actual power supply looks like. Ooh. This is definitely gonna be able to fit in my case. Also, am I tripping or is it dented? It is dented. It's dented, y'all. Wait a minute. It's supposed to be like that. That's crazy. Yeah, it's supposed to be like that, I think. Yeah, it's a design. Okay, that's where it's at. I feel like everybody who had this said the same shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I is for on, O is for off. Okay, I was right. Did I really have to look that up? Yes, it's been a while. Hop off, Jesus. You got better things to do than inside meat rod. Like, let me know. So, we put all this stuff back, close this super freaking cool case, and we get on to the last, last, last thing. All right, let's get this out of here. 
W moments. 40, 60, GP. Um, didn't have to cut tape off because there's no tape on this box. W moments. Now let's take the GP out. Ooh, gigabyte. Who doesn't love when bytes are gigabytes? Mm -mm -mm. This box is preferably smaller, yeah. Holy. Oh, the GPU itself is tiny too. Okay. Didn't mean to take this whole thing out, but here we are. Ooh, look at that. Freshly sealed, never open. Do I open it now? I'll take a look at it. I'll take a look at it. Do I want to have a knife near this? a white GPU. I tried to get the all white one, but um, they didn't have the all white one and I just got the ones with the black fans. It's not going to make a difference because this is what it's going to look like regardless in the case. Stuck in like this, so I ain't going to really see the fans from the bottom unless it's like a trophy piece or I put the piece like up high, but I'm not going to have it up high to look down below up under it. So it's going to be like, you know, whatever. Anyways, this thing is super cool. Not that many slots over here, which is also a good thing. My 3060 had a ton of them. Honestly, overall, I think this looks super cool. The size is small, but it's super, yeah, it's nice. I like it. The black fans throwing me a little bit, but if I'd have just, uh, I sh if I waited, no, nah, they still haven't had another white one in stock. I haven't seen one yet, but it's whatever. Um, the one that I did see when I was trying to get it, it was an open box, but I did I wanted to open it brand new, so yeah, I should have just got that one. They tested it anyway to make sure it was good and shit, so. But you let me learn, it's not that deep. Let's put this back in here. I do like it, I just don't want it in the sun for a long term. And I feel like once I put it together, since everything else is like sort of kind of black and white, I feel like this is gonna go together with it. Like it's gonna pair perfectly, honestly. And um, yeah, yeah, it's definitely gonna work out. It's gonna pair perfectly. I definitely didn't put that back in the correct way. Hopefully that isn't a problem. I have them on FaceTime while I'm making a video with y'all. We can be all building it together. Hopefully it doesn't overheat. There's gonna be a lot of skipping in the video tomorrow because I'm gonna have to pause and lock the fuck in. So, do appreciate y'all for watching all the way through this video. If you like the video, please give it a like. Subscribe so you can come back and watch some more videos and comment because when you comment once again I like feedback I like to know what I've done what I didn't do what I could have done what y'all thought about it If it was cool if y'all want to hate if y'all want to give me some pointers if y'all want to see stuff in the future Whatever comment section is for anything for you to express um, No words are illegal. So all words count. Um, so that doesn't really matter at the end of the day people just sensitive um, but yeah I put everything <clears throat> I put everything back. I got everything over there sitting in the corner ready. Um, tomorrow is gonna be the a big day. I'm about to edit these videos as much as I can now before I have to go to work. Um, I'm gonna get the rest of the trash up actually. And then I set my monitors and stuff up. Like I set the that monitor up and I set my tiny monitor up because this is just what I look at, small stuff or read chat on. Then my PC is gonna go over here. That PC right there is the older one, the other PC is in the closet. But then I'm gonna set the PC on the desk or I might get another small desk, like some Ikea drawers or something. Like Ikea drawers to put in the corner over here, like right here in this corner. Yeah, so we'll see. Um, it was honestly super cool to do this video. I had fun creating it. Let me show you my other keyboard. Epo Maker TH80. This is the keyboard that I use, that we all know and love. It's yeah, that key definitely broken. <laughs> but no, I had this keyboard for a while. Um, it's super cool to use. Anyways, um, appreciate y'all for watching this video, truly. 
Stay tuned for the next one. I'm in my lion shirt, although I know nothing about sports, just repping this. So I'm in you too, or, but yeah, no, just repping the state. Um, so thank y'all so much. I catch y'all in the next one. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. W moments. Peace. I'm gonna catch y'all boys and girls in the next one.